hey guys what's up so today we're going to deal with reproductive health it is an important topic uh, for both your examination as well as your life uh, this is the 3.1 which will be followed by part 3.2 also this is presented by me dr roman seni this is the youtube channel an academy medical so i'm just trying to impart high quality accessible education as much as i can if you want to know more you can read online and I'm already taking courses in UPSC which have been watched by lakhs of people. So if you know anyone preparing for medical entrance examination, AIPM, TMS, etc. Do spread the word of this education revolution. And if you have any query or any doubt you can ask on this Facebook page facebook.com slash my name dot official. Uh, now we move forward and this is the basic introduction to reproductive health. So what do you mean by reproductive health? Basically, uh, reproductive health means a total well-being. This is again important. It's just the definition of health and they have used introduced the word reproductive. That's it. That is the fancy thing which has been done by WHO. So if you know the develop, uh, health definition of health, health is like physical, emotional, behavioral, social, all aspects are included. But the word which has been added is reproduction. So if you just want to know, you can read this definition total well-being in all aspects of reproduction that is physical emotional behavioral social this is the who definition reproductively healthy society is one which is physic which has physical and functional normal reproductive organs physical means by size shape anatomy etc functional means whether they are capable of uh, giving rise to gametes and whether these gametes can fuse together and can conception happen and can it lead to a healthy baby delivered this is the functional aspect healthy emotional and behavioral interactions so that you can talk about it you can uh, you can feel safe about it you can feel like as if you have a choice regarding your sexual choices uh, during the discourse on sex discourse means dialogue or discussion etc uh, so this is extremely important in a reproductively healthy society that you are able to speak up and you are able to talk freely about sex now India is the world's first country, literally the world's first country to start uh, family planning programs. Uh, this was done uh, to ensure that uh, healthy family and healthy children are born and the maternal mortality rate and IMR can be decreased. Okay. Uh, so it was started way back in 1951 as soon as we got our independence four years after that. Goal was to attain total reproductive health, complete reproductive health as a social goal. Is that understood? RCH program are reproductive and child health care program. Okay. This is which is dealing with these family planning program right now. Extremely important. Please remember this term reproductive and child health care. Awareness is spread in these programs. Building institutions like PHC, CHCs, uh, hospitals, delivering services like delivery services, immunization services, facilities like ultrasound, x-rays, etc. So these are being provided. And how do you spread awareness that this is essential through information, education and communication. You can remember these terms, they are highly essential. Now what are strategies, what are the strategies involved? Basically you create awareness through IEC and you provide facilities and you provide the support which is needed by the people. Then again extremely important is introduction of sex education in schools. Unfortunately in India it's still not picked up but it is essential. Why? To remove the myths and misconceptions see when we are moving from 10th to 11th we are 16 year old 17 year old so that is a very crucial stage in our life where many people start experimenting with sex and everything so it is ex extremely important to remove myths and misconceptions because otherwise you might get STDs you might get unwanted pregnancies then you need to do abortions or deliveries which are not healthy okay and you suffer physical and mental torture also because of these issues and once you develop them you can't even talk to other people so you feel social boycott also so it's extremely important that sex education is introduced in schools because the impressionable minds of young people can get influenced and if it is introduced then they can easily get myths and misconceptions can easily get removed now for a reproductively healthy life we need to have scientific accurate and proper information how can you get it through sex education okay now you can read as much as you want on wikipedia so it's easily available now information regarding to what with respect to your reproductive organs your adolescence and accompanying changes for example there will be primary sexual changes secondary sexual changes now safe and hygienic sexual practices 
how to use protection etc against STDs and unwanted pregnancies this is the need of the hour now healthy families of decent size how can you achieve them decent size means two parents plus one to two children that's it okay so this is a decent size of a family now people need to be educated about available birth control options for example oral contraceptive pills uh, intrauterine devices then physical barriers like condoms etc then natural method etc all these methods should be then finally permanent methods like vasectomy and tubectomy now care of pregnant mothers is extremely important it is like antenatal care which is we call in mbbs days now postnatal care of the mother and child is also very important so that we can decrease mmr and imr okay maternal mortality and infant mortality rate importance of breastfeeding see breastfeeding is so important that for the first six months of the baby's life you don't even need water also you don't need to feed him anything at all this is called as exclusive breastfeeding for first six months now equal opportunities to to be provided whether it is education whether it is health so either it is male or female so just because if it's a female child it you should not discriminate against it you should also send her to school you should also give her proper nutrition immunization health checkups etc now because of the population growth you need to give them awareness of the problems which will arise for example let's say mbbs seats in india are 50000 okay but the population is 1.3 billion what if the population was just half so the competition will also be half right so the resources are limited okay resources are limited so if population keep on increasing resources are not increasing at the same rate that is why there are various problems and obviously there are social evils like sex abuse sex related crimes all these are need to be imparted now when we talk about uh, pregnancy and when we talk about antenatal and postnatal care the key feature is amniocentesis amniotic fluid is there okay which is surrounding the developing embryo okay so if you just take it out through a syringe and you analyze the chromosomal pattern you can know a lot about diseases and but unfortunately in india it is used for sex determination rampantly it is used till date okay so it is a diagnostic technique first of all what is it is used in worldwide for identification of several genetic biochemical and neural tube defect how will you identify genetic because there will be defect in chromosomes biochemical because there will be defect in enzymes okay for example albinism etc and phenylalanine urea you must have heard about these disease right and new l on urea etc now neural tube defects are when neural tube is failed to close okay how can you detect it because through level of alpha fetoproteins please remember this term it's extremely important this is called alpha fetoproteins when their level changes it means that there is neural tube defect for example it is used in spina bifida it is a type of neural tube defect also in down syndrome also afp level changes just remember this it may be asked exam now neural tube defects how they are caused because mother does not have proper b9 b9 is folate or folic acid so whenever pregnant woman is there she is given iron plus folic acid tablet iron is given to prevent postpartum hemorrhage that is bleeding after the baby is delivered also to control anemia and folic acid is given to control the neural tube defects now in india it is used mostly as a form of fetal sex determination test how do you do it chromosomal pattern can be analyzed because in amniotic fluid baby's chromosomes are floating around cells are floating around so if it is xx it means it is a female child if it is xy it means it is a male child now it is legally banned in india for the use of sex determination you can use it for other purposes how it is banned by preconception and pre diagnostic sex determination pcp and dt preconception and prenatal diagnostic test act of 1994 just remember this it may be asked in the exam pcp and dt preconception and prenatal diagnostic test act of 1994 it, it literally bans any method of sex determination either before or after the conception so i hope you'll remember it now it is to control and deter the female feticide now moving forward the population explosion see in 1900 that is just about 100 years ago 
वर्ल्ड पॉपुलेशन इज टू बिलियन नाउ इट इज फोर टाइम्स ऑलमोस्ट वी आर टचिंग ऑलमोस्ट सेवन पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन राइट नाउ राइट नाउ दिस इज द सिचुएशन सिक्स बिलियन हैपन्ड इन टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवन बिलियन हैपन्ड इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नाउ इट इज मोर देन सेवन बिलियन सिमिलरली इन इंडिया एट द टाइम ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंस वी वर जस्ट थर्टी फाइव करोड़ नाउ वी आर इन टू थाउजेंड वी बिकेम वन बिलियन एंड नाउ वी आर वन पॉइंट टू बिलियन इन टू थाउजेंड इलेवन नाउ वी आर वन पॉइंट थ्री बिलियन सो एवरी सिक्स पर्सन इन द वर्ल्ड इज एन इंडियन नाउ इट विल चेंज टू एवरी फिफ्थ पर्सन वेरी सोन वॉट आर द रीजन्स फॉर द पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ सी योर डेथ रेट इज डिक्रीजिंग वाई बिकॉज एडवांसिज इन मेडिकल हेल्थ केयर एक्सेट्रा बिकॉज ऑफ अफोर्डेबल मेडिसिन ओके सो द हेल्थ केयर इज बिकमिंग क्वाइट चीपर वेन इट कम्स टू बेसिक मेडिसिन maternal mortality rate and infant mortality rate are also decreasing as a result but the people who are in reproductive age group is constantly increasing you must have heard about demographic dividend so people who are in the reproductive age group their number is increasing that is why you are seeing population growth and population explosion now according to 2001 census report we grow at a rate of 1.7% that is 17 people per 1000 population okay so at this rate you will just take 33 years for doubling of population but in 2011 census this growth rate has declined okay now what are the measures to check population growth rate just motivate smaller size families promote the use of contraception advertisement in the media is extremely important because people tend to get influenced by a lot use slogans like hum do hamare do aur bacche do hi acche etc couples adopting one child norm is extremely important because especially in urban settings the cost of raising a children is very high education school charges are like 50000 rupees in a private school per year which cannot which many people cannot afford for laws females cannot marry below 18 years males below 21 years this is a statutory law means it is a law passed by parliament and finally rewards are given incentives are given to couples who have smaller families for example if you have more than two families you are not allowed to contest many elections also So let's see how we can use a graph graph method to analyze the human demography. This is called as human demography transition. Okay, so just focus here. So let's say this is a graph. Okay, and I am making it here. So on x-axis you have this is the time. Okay, and here you have the population growth. So first of all, the death rate is quite. Uh, this is stage one. Okay, then you have stage two. then you have stage 3 and finally you have stage 4 okay so this is the diagram which i am trying to concentrate here let's see this is the birth rate and this is the death rate and this is the diagram which denotes your demographic transition okay so now just focus on this diagram of demographic transition see first of all the death rate the death rate is very high to begin with when a society is early and it is quite fluctuating then it becomes quite constant and it falls okay it has a constant fall between stage 2 and stage 3 and then it becomes stable so this is the death rate so how death rate varies first of all it is fluctuating but it is increasing then it is declining then it is again declining and it is constant but it is low here okay now let's see how birth rate how birth rate goes about birth rate in this particular case is very very high to begin with okay birth rate is very very high now birth rate while the death rate is falling in stage 2 birth rate is still very high this is the period where the largest population growth rate takes place now birth rate is falling death rate is also falling okay something like that so here birth rate and death rate are almost same so in stage 4 there is no, not much population growth and the birth rate is low but fluctuating so this was the birth rate so birth rate here is constantly high in this case also the birth rate is constant and it is high it is declining but it is still more than the uh, death rate and finally here it is fluctuating and it is low so this is the birth rate and now as you can see we can easily draw the population uh, the uh, growth curve which will be something like this so here the population growth will not be much okay because birth rate is also high death rate is also high here between stage 2 and stage 3 you will see sharp increase in population and in stage 4 you will see a gradual increase or even decline in population so this is the demographic transition model okay this is the population growth rate 
द ब्लू वन इज द बर्थ रेट वाइल द रेड वन इज द डेथ रेट सो आई होप यू विल रिमेंबर दिस कर्व नाउ इट इज एन एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट कर्व बिकॉज क्वेश्चन आर आस्ट फ्रॉम दिस नाउ वॉट डू मीन बाई रिप्लेसमेंट लेवल फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू ह्यूमन बींग्स मेक अ कपल ओके एंड दे प्रोड्यूस सम बेबीज सो वेन दे डाई दे विल लीव एट लीस्ट टू ह्यूमन्स राइट सो दे कैन रिप्लेस दैम सो अ कपल मस्ट प्रोड्यूस ऑफ स्प्रिंग टू रिप्लेस दैम सेल सो दैट पॉपुलेशन रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट ओके सो इफ टू ह्यूमन बींग्स प्रोड्यूस टू ह्यूमन बींग्स दैन इट इज मीन्स कॉन्स्टेंसी इज मेंटेन सो आइडियल रिप्लेसमेंट लेवल शुड बी टू बट वॉट हैपन्स इज सम ऑफ दैम विल डाय राइट दीज बेबीज दे विल ऑल नॉट बिकम एडल्ट टू रिप्रोड्यूस सो इन डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज वेर चांसेज ऑफ दैम डाइंग इज वेरी लो सो द रिप्लेसमेंट लेवल इज टू पॉइंट वन वाइल इन डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज द रिप्लेसमेंट लेवल इज टू पॉइंट सेवन बट दिस इज कॉन्स्टेंटली डिक्रीजिंग एंड इट इज नाउ क्लोज टू टू पॉइंट फोर टू पॉइंट फाइव टाइप्स नाउ कंपेरिजन बिटवीन डेवलपिंग एंड डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज यूजिंग द सेम डेमोग्राफिक मैथड सी वैन इट कम्स टू डेवलपिंग कंट्रीज द फर्स्ट द ग्राफ लुक्स लाइक अ पिरामिड ओके दिस इज लेट से यू जस्ट डिवाइडेड इन बिटवीन these are the males in the population females because they are almost equal and this population is quite large this is the category c this is the like the children group then these are the reproductively active group which is between 14 to 50 and this is the old age group which are dependent okay so a and c are dependent on b okay this is the 51 to 70 so as you can see the children are much much more than the old age population what happens in case of developed countries is something very very like the all the three groups are almost same so this is the c group this is the b group this is the a group again you divide it in between these are the males these are the females this is the 0 to 13 this is 14 to 50 and this is 51 to 75 because the age group the expectancy is more here so as you can see this is the developed country and this is the developing country okay so this is some difference between them this is the post reproductive age group this is the reproductive age group and this is the pre reproductive age group so this is the basic comparison between developing and developed countries same here this is the post reproductive this is reproductive and this is pre reproductive so i hope you uh, got something from this tutorial so to spread the word and be a part of this education revolution as much as you can and do hit the thumbs up i really appreciate that and these are the urls and spread the education for all revolution thank you for watching the tutorial have an awesome day